Right now, it's the start of the ninth day of, of Nisan, which corresponds to the month of Kislev. But yesterday was Shabbos, the eighth day of Nisan. And so I couldn't make this filming, which corresponds to Hezvan. And some amazing coincidences happened to me on the eighth day, uh, Shabbos Hagadol, the eighth day of Nisan. And I want to speak on those a few moments here. The letter for the eighth day of uh, Hezv- uh, of um, Nisan is the letter Nun, which corresponds to the eighth eighth month, which is Hezvan. And remember the letter, the word in Hezvan is the Nahash, and that also corresponds to the letter Nun. And the tribe that's associated with this month of Hezvan, corresponding to the eighth day and the letter Het, one beyond the spiritual world, is Menasha. Menasha has the same letters as Mishnah. And Nish, uh, well, Nish, She, Nish, no, let me pronounce it better. Mishne, second. Mishne, second. And this is what came to me. In the middle of the night, it came to me that the amazing thing is not that everything is one, but that everything is two. Oneness isn't the amazing thing to me. It's that everything is two. It's not that everything is one unity and one force, but that things are split into plurality. That's the amazing thing. And so the amazing thing, I say, is not uh, to the bet as being the physical manifestation of the Allah. That's the amazing thing. The amazing thing is the bet. And so that's what starts off the Torah. The amazing thing is duality. How Echad is split, and in the middle of the night of this Shabbos Hagadol and the eighth day of, Nish, uh, of Nisan, came some gematria came to me. I was I was thinking of Hezvan because that's the corresponding month, and I did the gematria of Hezvan. And the gematria of Hezvan, uh, with all the letters spelled out in full, full is uh, Het 418, Shin 360, Vav 12, uh, Nun 106. That's 896. And then I was thinking of this oneness and, and, and the level of, of you, not unity, but just singularity, and that's the Yahid. Yahid. And I did the gematria of Yahid, and it's Yud, Het, Yud, Dalit. And it comes out to be 892. And then if I add the four letters of Yahid, it's 896, which is the same as Hezvan. Now this Hezvan, shows the yachi. And for me, and then later on in that night, I said the amazing thing is not 
that everything is one, Yahid, but that everything is two. That to me is the, that to me is the, is the amazing thing of godliness. The godliness in his deepest core had to produce the Yahida, the Yahid plus the He. He had to make a space for the Shekinah. He left an empty space, Zimzum, and made room for Shekinah to come forth. A deep unconscious principle in godliness. And this is what we have to start to meditate on in ourself, in our representation, in the physical sense here of, of the inner aspects and inner workings of the psyche of, of, of Hashem. And what does it mean to, to have this, this physicality, manifestation, of physicality from spirituality, this totally unseen thing in his core, in its core, desire to manifest in physicality. And in that physicality, that, that is not necessarily the duality of spiritual and physical. It's within this physical that there's duality. It's not that there's duality from spiritual and physical meaning duality. No, that's singularity. But within the physical itself, there's duality. There's right, left, yes, no, good, bad, proper, improper, clean, unclean male, female, within the duality, Hashem manifested man. He's not man. There's a manifestation. And then in man, there was a duality into female and male. So the real, the real miracle is the duality, the manifestation of duality in the physical mode. Not the duality of Hashem and physicality, but the duality within physicality itself. And that's the bet. So when you meditate on the bet, in a certain sense, this is higher than the Aleph meditation. The Aleph meditation is a little bit up. It's a little bit spiritual. But how about the bet? How about the bet as the root of duality because it's two? Remember, the Talmud always starts at Bet. The Torah starts at uh, Bet, Bereshis. Bereshis, two beginnings. The Quran starts with the letter Ba. How come these deep principles? not really understood the duality is manifestation now this comes out in Hezron miraculously like the Yahid Hezron is the Hebrew month with no holidays because there were so many holidays in Tishri, it's unconscious here. Hezvan is like the Nahash. Nahash, as the Gematria of 358, 
which is the same gematria as Mashiach. Heshvan is a hidden one. It's too deep to have a manifestation of a holiday. And right now, it's the evening, Mutsi Shabbos Hagadol, beginning of the ninth day. And the ninth day is the tribe of Benjamin and Keslev, where the holiday of Hanukkah is. And I have no experience yet in this because I have to wait till the day itself to see how it experiences because you remember these 12 days are emblematic of the 12 months of the year. And so this is the beginning of this month for me because it's the beginning of the evening. And so I wait to make comments on the ninth day. But I'm looking forward to what happens to me on Hezvan. Because whatever happens, remember, on this day, it's a microcosm of what will happen on the whole month. So this whole thing of duality. And it, so it's, a, again, in a, in a psychological sense, it's a sense of, 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 sense of feeling, of understanding, being... Uh, comfortable with the sense of understanding of the dual. Remember, that's not dual with pistols. That's dual with two. And how the dual is to me the greater miracle than the singularity itself.